newly public video is shining a light on a controversial case in Oklahoma. Terrell Ellis Jr. died at the Ottawa County Jail in October 2015. Surveillance footage appears to show workers failing to respond to his repeated calls for help from just feet away. Omar Villafranca spoke to Ellis's brother and his family attorney in an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning. He's outside the jail where Ellis died in Miami, Oklahoma. Omar, what comes next? Well, good morning, Anthony. The defense will present final uh, briefs to the judge, and then the judge will decide if this federal case will move forward. As for the Ellis family, they want the former sheriff and they also want the former employees here at this jail held accountable for Terrell's death. And they tell me they are tired of waiting for justice. On October 10th, 2015, a seemingly healthy Terrell Ellis Jr. turned himself into authorities for an outstanding warrant for a DUI. Less than two weeks later, jail surveillance video captured the sounds of his repeated pleas for help over several days from his isolated cell. In the roughly one hour of video obtained by CBS News, several employees can be seen and heard walking by his cell and mocking as he screams. Twelve days after he arrived, Ellis died of sepsis and pneumonia. He was only 26 years old. I know he was wanting to turn himself in because he was trying to better himself. Garrett Ellis says his brother Terrell wanted to turn his life around for his young son after a string of run-ins with the law, including convictions for driving with a suspended license and drug possession. During our interview, he watched the surveillance video for the first time. He says he couldn't stand to watch it for even a minute. You saw a little clip. Yeah. Why did you stop? Well, just just hearing uh, hearing the voices of my brother is just it's just too hard to hear him uh, in that much pain. At the heart of the lawsuit are moments like these. <laughs> Former jail nurse Teresa Horn can be heard screaming at Terrell about faking an illness less than four hours before he was found unresponsive in his cell. She told Ellis EMS had found nothing wrong with him. What did you think of the way the nurse was talking to him? It was inappropriate. Yeah, she uh, completely uh, neglected uh, his health. We had contact from inmates, and then we had contact from family members who were, who were really concerned about what had happened to Terrell because he had gone into jail healthy. Ellis family attorney Dan Smolin is now leading the wrongful death and negligence lawsuit against the jail, former employees who have since left, and the sheriff's office. I think that the entire jail staff should have been charged with some form of manslaughter. Criminal. Uh, criminally. Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, a jury will ultimately find that Terrell's civil rights were violated in the most extreme way. What was your reaction to seeing it? I was floored. County Sheriff Jeremy Floyd is named in the lawsuit. He wasn't working there when Terrell died, but says the jail's medical protocols are now some of the best around. The sheriff's office runs the jail. What does that justice look like? What should happen to you in your jail, in, in your opinion? In my opinion, uh, I think a uh, civil right violation investigation should, should occur. Several employees in that video, including the nurse Teresa Horn, no longer work at this jail. And it's worth noting that Teresa Horn's attorney told us, quote, the videos do not show the complete picture and are only one piece of potential evidence. We have also learned that the FBI has contacted the family's attorney and they are interested in learning more about this case. Tony? Uh, complete picture or not, that's a terrible way to die. Yeah. Omar, thank you very much. Yeah, the little part we see on the videotape is very upsetting. Mm. When you can hear that he's crying for help and yeah. it seems to be ignored. That's very tough. Yeah, it'll be a complete picture, but it's not a pretty it's picture. It's not a pretty one, you're right. No. All right, Omar, thank you very much.